Okay, so we just entered tunnels and we are going straight into the first combat section here, which is effectively a tech demo in a way for Naughty Dog. I guess maybe it's not a tech demo anymore. It was in Left Behind, but this is something that people in last fans of Last of Us Part 1 really had hoped for, where we had two NPC factions basically fighting with us in the middle of it. And... As a pretty simple strat, we can basically let them kind of fight each other. They can whittle each other down until uh, one survives and then we can go in and clean up if needed. So we see that we start our crouch. I'm going straight to this vending machine to smash the glass and then I'm going back through this train. And before I exit, I'm going to go prone here. And I'm going to go prone right to the back of this trash can right here. If you have prone speed, this will be, this will feel a lot more comfortable. Prone speed upgrade. Okay. So all we had to do, we started off crouch, go up, smash the glass, and then get through over to here and wait. And this is kind of a special area because none of the enemies will go back here unless they know that we're here. But by kind of going prone over here, they, they'll have no idea where we're at. And at this stage, it's effectively just a waiting game it can take multiple minutes but we can see a clicker just took out one of the soldiers there the sh the soldiers are, are shooting shooting the clickers yeah we see how close that they get but they they won't just path they won't path back here so typically the clickers win in this case especially on ground because they're so fast it could be the other way oh there we go we lost another one now, because of that, at the end of this, I'll, I'll kind of show you how you can get through here, which where we want to go is that train over there. We want to basically go through that train and then our door is on the other side of it. But because clickers remain, I have my weapons set up in a way that that I like to use for clickers. I like to use the pistol for headshots, the rifle for leg shots. And also, I have a melee weapon. I see the axe hanging off my back right now. That comboed with a brick is really really easy that's probably the easiest way to kill a clicker but yeah we're just gonna wait here and the thing that i'm waiting for is for the music to die down that means one of the factions is basically uh they lost <laughs> now there is a point where Sometimes one of the soldiers will find a really good hiding spot and the clickers won't be able to find them and the music won't die down. But it is kind of fun to just wait here and kind of watch the machine work. I'll tell you what, for the sake of time right now, I've been kind of waiting around for like four minutes here. Um, I see a soldier right here. I think he's the last one. I'm going to go up and take him out. This likely won't happen. <laughs> but all the time. In fact, this is the first time I've ever tried this, but but there we go. I just took out one of the soldiers. Okay, and it should just be clickers left. And in fact, I can hear the music kind of dying out. So now we just have clickers. Okay. So like I said, we want to get to the opposite side of that train, but I like to cut right over here because we have a lot of cover. We, we can get a little bit closer. Now, there is a way, a stealth way to get to the end. Uh, but it, it's pretty finicky. I, I I can't say that I recommend it. So instead, what I'm going to show you is how to take out the rest of the clickers here. Some of them are probably going to be weak. And actually, some of them will probably be dead too. But what we can do is... I'm going to go prone over to this box. When the clickers are not like directly staring at me. And notice that we have a bottle right here. We have a bottle, but I already have a brick. And so here's my effective plan. I want to get a headshot, an easy headshot on one clicker when they're basically holding still. And then I'll run up and I'll melee them. Now that's obviously going to alert the other clickers. Which means that the next kills need to be a lot easier. And to do that, we're going to focus on the, uh, the brick or bottle melee combo because I do have an axe. So again, this can be a little bit about patience. It'd be nice to have one clicker be by themselves. In fact, I see this clicker here. I'm gonna get a headshot on them and melee them. Feel free to get close if you want. 
I'm gonna pull out my brick. There we go, that's another one. And now I'm gonna run, because the clickers I think are close. Okay. Now for the sake of example, because I don't have a brick, I know that there are some around. You can use the rifle for a leg shot. Leg shot like that. If they're at full health, totally fine. Now Dina helped us out with this clicker, which is really nice. Now there was this bottle back here, gonna grab it. We're gonna bottle them and melee them. Okay. So that's the three super effective ways of handling clickers. Okay. When you do go for that melee attack, make sure that another clicker uh, isn't gonna come up on you really fast because you will get animation locked. Now, before we leave to the next area, hopefully there's a leftover brick. I know there's one right next to the door right here. And there's also other ammo and everything here. So make sure you grab all that. We are about to enter our first Shambler combat. And of course, the first combat section is in the dark and in a uh, very close quarter arena here. I got you. I got you. It's a very small area. And of course, what the Shamblers do is that they explode and they smell very bad. They're very stinky. So yeah, those acid clouds damage you over time, which is not that much fun. Um, and so you, you don't want to get close. Now, fortunately, there is a place that you can be in this area where the infected can't climb up. And it turns out that's exactly where we start. It's right on top of this box right here. So if we stay on top of this box, the infected can't climb out to us. Now, the Chandlers can do their stink bomb and that will hurt us if we're if they do it close enough. But what we could do is this is a great opportunity for a Molly because not only are there two Shamblers, but there are two runners. So we can pull them together just on the inside of this window here. And I'm just gonna look around again. It's kind of dark, it's hard to see. But I see one runner is starting to make their way towards it. The sh Shambler ran on this side for some reason. There we go. We're just gonna start off with a little Molly right there. That might take out this runner. Yeah, there we go. So we got rid of that runner. There we go. And like I said, we can just stand right here and it's not a problem. What we could do is like maybe try to take out one of these, uh, one of these shamblers. Ellie, help me. First, uh, Dina doesn't know the strat. So we got to help out Dina. And like I said, we can just start to start to take out some of these shamblers here. Let's see this. I can't climb up. And in fact, if Dina's shooting, Dina will, other than Dina getting grabbed, Dina will be able to, to take them all out. Now you, of course, might have more ammo than me. Um, but there you go. So Dina took out a runner. That's, that's awesome. So now we just have like one Shambler left. Uh, but yeah. Basically, the strat is stay up here. Just start getting rid of, of everyone. If you have another molly and you want to use it, you can. Um, I'm used to hoarding all my resources, so, so I, I don't like to. But yeah, this shambler I know like isn't hurt at all. Uh, but they also somehow lost sight of us, which is pretty incredible. So, in fact, I'm just going to go right by. I'm just going to go over here. Go prone. Not a big deal. <laughs> And we're by that Shambler. I don't know how that Shambler lost sight of me, but they did. But that's basically the strat. Stay on top of that box, shoot everyone from there, um, and maybe open up with a, a brick to pull them all together and then molly them. That will do a lot. Now we're in the final encounter of tunnels outside of running through at the very end. Uh, there's a room right here where you can loot everything. And we're just going to hop right down and get into it. Now, this is a stealth strat. And what we're going to try to do is stealth kill three runners. And fortunately, there's like a few simple uh, waypoints that we want to hit. So first off, there is a, a bottle down there. You'll probably grab one over there. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but I'll go ahead and grab it just in case 
maybe something goes wrong, though it, it probably shouldn't. Um, so we're going to climb into this area. And what you're going to want to do is first off, make sure you're crouched and then you're going to go to, you're just going to go straight. Once you're crouched, you're going to hold forward. You're not going to slow down. You don't need to look around or anything. Just hold forward. Um, and I'll kind of talk you through the rest after that. So we're going to hop down. I'm going to grab this bottle. You'll probably already have one. I'm going to hop up here. Make sure I'm crouched. There we go. And I'm holding forward. Now there's this little staircase right here. I'm going to be on the right side of it, but... There we go. It's basically just going straight away, and you'll see I'm starting to spam triangle. I'm gonna grab this runner. Just like that. Now, we're gonna turn right, and a lot of people don't know about this, but there's a window right here that we're gonna hop through. This window is really huge, and I'll, I'll show you in a separate video how important this window can be. So we're gonna hop through it, and we're gonna see a runner to our right. Now, what we wanna do is hide in the middle of this, Kind of like behind here, it's kind of a little bit awkward. And once we're here, you see me, I'm just spamming triangle. There we go. All I was doing, I didn't need to hold forward anything like that. And then we got our, our next runner. And now we're basically gonna go to the door, except, well, there's another little runner on our way. And again, I'm not slowing down, I'm not, not looking around or anything. We're gonna hop up here, grab this other runner. Okay. You'll hear the shamblers around. There's one over there, but you don't need to worry about it. And now you just go straight to the door. Press triangle to get on it, and then keep pressing square until you get through. Simple enough. But now I'll show you a video in case things don't go well. Maybe you mistime something or you somehow get alerted. And then I'll show you how you can really use that window. And you still don't really need to kill the shamblers. All right, we're going to try this again, but I'm going to cause an alert specifically. Now, I didn't like loot the room. All I have is one shotgun shot. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have enough to, to kill everyone, but I am going to alert them. And now I do have a molly, which is very handy, um, especially since it will stun enemies for a while. But the key strat here will be to pull the shamblers to the opposite corner of the room of the door that we want to go to. And once they're in that opposite corner, then we will book it to that door and then we can get through. Now it helps to get rid of the runners because they are faster, but also importantly with this map is that window. We can hop through the window, the infected can't. They have to go like all the way around. So this is a way that it, we can basically buy some time. Now I am gonna still grab that runner and there is that free bottle there that you'll probably grab one earlier. I'm gonna go to grab it here. But again, doing the same thing. We're gonna climb up here, gonna make sure I'm crouched. And I'm holding forward. The only reason I'm still grabbing this runner is because it's it's relatively easy to grab this runner. You might end up stealth killing them like over there a bit more, which is totally fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. Now let's say I, I toss this bottle maybe in the wrong spot or something. Okay. So again, this window really really nice to happen where we want to go is this opposite corner so I'm gonna there we go so the runners the runners see us I'm gonna start running around now there are some there's a bottle like back in this side here if you see a bottle and you don't have one definitely grab it okay we have a shambler here just try to stay as far away from the shamblers as you can okay I see a shambler ahead of me here. But yeah, I can run through here. And hop through this window. And see, they're not going to climb through. Shamblers are going all the way around. Just going to hop through again. See that? Do that quite a bit. Now I am jumping pretty early because I don't want them to apply their stink right there. Okay, we gotta take care of Dina. I'm gonna pull the Shamblers a little bit further away if I can. A little tough. I do have a bottle, I, I, I might as well use it. Again, just running around here. There's this window, I'm gonna hop through it. You also have a Molly. Feel free to use it, that was a terrible use of it. 
That might kill one of the runners. Again, you see this window? It's so good. You just keep hopping through this window. Not a problem. So, again, I said that the runners are a problem because they just keep running. <laughs> as the name implies. But yeah, I'm trying, trying to pull the shamblers into this opposite corner here. Once they're sort of here, I think that's good. I'm going to start booking it. I'm going to run through this window. And then we're going to run to the door that we need to go to, which is back here. And this will be fine. We have no runners left. We have nothing to, to really worry about. The shamblers are slow. Triangle to get on the door and spam square. You hear them coming up, but we're through it. Hold it. So again, don't sweat the shamblers too much. Outside, you just got to stay away from them. If you can pull the shamblers to the opposite side, you can just run to the opposite corner, hop into that window. You're good to go. This is like the true final encounter of tunnels. It's not really an encounter. It's just an area that we have to run through. And it is very scripted, but you can still die here. So I'm going to try to cover some small tips, things to like look out for. Because if you get caught here, then you're going to have to do all the tunnels to get, which is three other encounters, which could be pretty annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and skip. And the first thing that's going to happen is a runner is going to grab Dina and you need, you need to save Dina. Um, it turns out it can be a little bit faster if you just delay a little bit. Like you almost like run, want to run right away and help out Dina. Um, but what you can actually do is just let the runner actually grab Dina. So here's a runner. See him coming in. Make sure they grab Dina and then hit them. And then run and... At this point, you're gonna to wanna to start spamming dodge. Just keep spamming dodge. Don't hold run necessarily, because sometimes a runner will catch up. And after this, it's pretty easy. You just do what the game kind of intends you to do. Follow Dina. Just start running. You don't even need to really dodge that runner there. You can just start sprinting. Run straight to the door. Start spamming triangle. See, like, sometimes the runners will catch up. Make sure to spam square at the end, too. That's it. Just a few small things. Make sure you're dodging up the escalator. And make sure you save Dina.